eres muy rebelde porque te falló el amor Cuando más bonita te sentías tú Otra me engañó con su bajeza y su ambición Si tú me perdonas también Lucia is a cheerful, optimistic, and hardworking young woman who helps support her family by driving a bus in Miami. Buenos dias. The city streets are her world, and life's ups and downs have taught her at an early age how to protect herself from everything and everyone. Mira, para que lo sepa, no fue mi culpa. ¿Estás sordo o qué? No fue mi culpa. Oye, eres bastante altanera y mal educada. But nothing has prepared her for the fierce rival she will soon have to face. A relentless enemy, ready to do whatever it takes to steal the love of her life. Lucia is deeply in love with Raúl, a poor young man who works tirelessly at his uncle's modest plant nursery. Raúl, yo te quiero. Estoy enamorada de ti. Raúl feels the same towards Lucia, and things are wonderful between them until he accepts a job at the luxurious mansion owned by the Covarrubias family. His entry into that house changes everything. Because there he meets Cristal, one of the granddaughters of the matriarch of the family, Doña Enriqueta Covarrubias. Buenos días, señorita. Hola. Cristal possesses a devastating beauty and an evil, treacherous soul. Con mucha inteligencia, voy a sacar de mi camino a mis hermanas para quedarme con todo lo negro. Eres. Temible, Cristal. <laughs> so much so that she is capable of seducing her own brother-in-law, Ernesto, virtually in front of her innocent sister, Natasha. Hazme caso. No dejes perder a un hombre tan bueno como Ernesto. Hola, cuñadito. Hoy soy yo la que tiene hambre de ti. When she meets Raúl, Cristal instantly becomes infatuated with him. Oye, no me vas a decir que te gustó el tipo este con las macetas. Es el hombre más bello y más guapo que he visto en toda mi vida. And makes up her mind to conquer him in spite of their social differences. From that moment on, she becomes Lucia's worst nightmare. Señorita, está bien. No les pasó nada. Otra vez tú. Raúl is bewitched, not only by Cristal's physical beauty, but also by her wealth and sophistication, without knowing that, in truth, she's perverse. But there's something else that Raúl can't even begin to imagine. Cristal and Lucia are cousins, and part of the Covarrubia fortune belongs to Lucia. This secret has been kept for many years. Just a handful of people are aware of it. The events that led to this bizarre situation happened 20 years ago, when Elena, Lucia's mother, got pregnant by Doña Enriqueta's business partner, Alejandro Valderrama. Te amo, Elena. Outraged, Doña Enriqueta disinherited her daughter, Elena. Se va a casar con él sin mi consentimiento. La prefiero muerta. Cállate, que vas a ser mía de todas maneras. Ya después voy a... Ruined Alejandro and used her influences to have him convicted for a murder he didn't commit. Esta corte condena al ciudadano Alejandro Valderrama a la pena de 25 años de prisión por el delito de homicidio en primer grado. Destitute and alone, Elena ran away from everyone and hid the truth from Lucia during all this time. Lucia tiene derecho 
a saberlo todo sobre Alejandro Valderrama. El padre que nunca conoció. Vuelves a las calles. Suddenly the past reappears to impact Lucia's life. Her father, released from prison, searches for his beloved Elena and is finally able to avenge the ruthless Doña Enrique. Buenos días, Enriqueta Covarrubias. Doña Enriqueta, ¿qué tiene? ¿Qué le pasa? Recovering everything she once took from him. Having regained his family and fortune, Alejandro concentrates on transforming Lucia into a refined, elegant woman. She finds new loves hey, buenos días, Lucia. and new dreams along the way. But deep inside, Lucia continues to be that same girl in love with Raúl. Oye, Raúl me dijo que iba a ir unos días para tu casa. ¿Está contigo? Lo llevo esperando pues desde que salí del video y no está aquí, no ha llegado. Pero entonces, ¿dónde puede estar? And now she's ready to face the most difficult battle of her life, reconquering the love she lost. Separados. 